welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate and vanilla layered cake. I'm going to cut them into squares so it'll be like cake squares but you can also just make it a normal cake. So before we get started, I just wanted to say a couple thank yous to the people who helped me come up with the idea for this video. So Megan Recovers on Instagram and Veggie Lives on Instagram. So um, you should definitely go check them out. They're both super cute and super amazing but we were kind of brainstorming what I should cook today and they both said like cake or brownies or some sort of thing like that and then I was like okay definitely cake because I don't I haven't done an actual cake on this channel I haven't done brownies either I should do that I thought okay I want to make cake but I want to do it kind of fancy and I was thinking like sometimes you go to a gathering like a family gathering or a potluck or like a holiday thing you want to bring something that's vegan you want it to be something that people will actually like and they'll be like oh my god vegan foods amazing so I'm going to do kind of a more fancy style cake but it'll be super easy and really really delicious and vegan of course so yeah that's what we're doing today let's get started okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is measure out two and a half cups of flour but it's gonna be just a little bit under two and a half so I'll show you Oops. Okay, so, so that's two, and then we need a half. But like I said, a little bit under a half, so maybe just take out like a tablespoon or so. Oh shit, I just put it in the bowl. Okay, take out another tablespoon. <laughs> Put it back in the container. Okay, so that's two and a half. And then into the bowl, we need two teaspoons of baking soda. Okay, sweet. That worked out. And then one and a half cups of sugar. You can probably use any sugar. I'm just using normal sugar. Okay, so then one and a half cups of sugar into the bowl. Then we whisk. I like making pretty cooking videos, but at the same time, I told you guys that I was doing this so that people could see what cooking is actually like. And for the most part, this is what cooking and baking is actually like. So get over it. Okay, so now we're just going to set the dry ingredients aside, and then you just want to get another bowl pretty much the same size, and we'll do the wet ingredients. So I forgot to mention at the beginning, but this cake is really, really low fat, and that's because I'm going to be using applesauce instead of oil. We're going to do two-thirds a cup of applesauce or banana puree or oil or an oil replacer and if you're wondering if some ingredient can be used as an oil replacer you can honestly just google it and then next we're going to do one and a third cups of non-dairy milk I'm using almond milk so that's one and an and a third and then we need our vanilla about uh, a tablespoon the last thing you need is a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. So yeah, it's gonna kind of curdle the almond milk probably and it's not gonna smell very good but I promise you can't taste it in the recipe. And then I'm just going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry. Like this. You don't want to over mix it or else they'll get all like gluten -y and chewy. You want to make sure when you're stirring stuff like this that you scrape the bottom and turn it over and you'll always find that there's like other dry ingredients that were stuck there that you didn't get. So just make sure that you really scrape it well. No biggie if you don't though. It's just a cake. It's not a huge deal. So then you're going to take about half of this mixture and pour it in back into the bowl that you used for the um, wet ingredients. So, I probably could have measured how much is in each, but just eyeball it, it's not a huge deal. For whatever one you want to be chocolate, you're just going to take three tablespoons of cocoa and add that to the mix. Actually, let's do two and a half. 
And then in the other bowl, you're gonna do two and a half to three tablespoons of flour just to even that out. Just gonna mix them up. Now we're just gonna preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. I'm just using two square pans with parchment paper in them. One of my subscribers who is, I feel like you're all smarter than me, so please leave comments when I'm doing something wrong, but basically she left me a comment saying um, a way easier way to put parchment paper into a pan rather than like squishing it down and making it all wrinkly. So she just said to cut the edges and then like fold them over and it makes perfect corners. I don't have two of the same size cake pans. I have one eight inch and one nine inch. So you could like bake one at a time if you only have one. That's not you know a huge deal if you have some time. But I also have a nine inch pan. So I'm just gonna bake one in the eight inch, one in the nine inch. And then when I'm done, I'll just cut the edges off the nine inch one to make it the same size. You just gotta get a bit crafty. I'll do the chocolate in this pan. Okay, so that's one, and then I'm just going to cut the edges off so that this part doesn't burn. I'm going to use this pan. I'm just going to find my toothpicks. And you just take a toothpick and stick it in the middle pull it out, comes out clean, then it's done. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make the icing. So all you need is just like a smallish bowl. I'm using my just normal earth balance. And I'm just going to get a tablespoon of that. Then I'm going to use some cocoa, so a tablespoon of cocoa. And then I'm going to do a splash of vanilla and a splash of almond milk. So now, the annoying slash fun part, adding the icing sugar. Just keep adding and stirring until it gets to the amount and the consistency that you want. Okay, voila. Look at this. What? What? That is some bomb ass looking creamy chocolate frosting, I have to say. So good, so good. Okay, so I just let the cakes cool for like an hour and a half, I think. So um, now I'm going to show you how to assemble it. Carefully, very carefully, slice the cake in half. this cup of water so that the icing doesn't like stick and you don't want the icing to be super thick because that's not the look we're going for here and then I'm just going to put the chocolate layer of cake right on top, like this, and do the same thing again. Final product. Well, I'm going to decorate them. Mm -hmm. 